Yeah, so eight months ago I created this video about smart mask and kind of how we can mimic uh, substance workflows in Mari. And I got a lot of questions how I could uh, get this smart mask system. And at the time it was just in a beta version. And now, actually almost a year later, Jens Kaffitz has uh, finalized this extension pack and there's a ton of new stuff in it and I'm very excited to start to use this. And I'm also planning to actually use it in my uh, upcoming uh, material library. It's gonna be a random library, so I'm gonna use some of the nodes here actually from this extension pack. And here is actually, you can buy it here on Gumroad and it's a steal for the amount of stuff you get you get so many presets and cool nodes, grunches and stuff you can use in your texturing. It's gonna speed up your workflow considerably. It's gonna be worth every penny. And we're excited to start to use this. So actually let's just jump straight in and look at some of the stuff very quickly. This is not gonna be any kind of feature uh, demonstration because Jens here, uh, make sure to subscribe to his channel has a lot of information how you can use this extension back and as he has created it he should know how to use the nodes exactly yeah so let's jump into more now quickly look at some of the highlights and call it a day yeah so here in the latest beta of Mari 4.6 we can see here this is my old scene here where i created a gizmo myself so let's see here uh, smart masks just yes, where we can get them so uh, we have this mask and mask shelf and uh, we can go here to smart mask and here we can see uh, some of the presets that it ships with you can create your own using the mask builder jens has a uh, description how you can do that here's a lot of nice procedurals caveat uh, some of these might be expensive so you might need to bake them just but that's uh, goes without saying for a lot of uh, nodes in Mari in general. So smart masks, let's say that we wanna apply some kind of uh, edge wear or something. Let's take edge uber, let's take this one and see what happens if I drag it here. We should get a question here to set it up the first time you do this, where your ambient occlusion, so AO, curvature, and let's hit process and see what happens. This is the first time you set up. Once you have these masks set up, you don't have to do this step anymore. So let's take here a second while it goes through all this and generates all of the curvature passes. So it has different blurs of the curvature so you can level between them. There you go. Let's go into this and take a look at, I'm gonna override my material here. So you see here, I already have a similar thing here that I created myself. And I have a mask input here somewhere. Let's, yeah, there we go. So I'm gonna disconnect this now here to demonstrate using this, uh, the Jens Caffets extension pack material there so let's take this and hook this up so now it's just now it's expecting an input there so let's go back out and hook it up and see what happens so let's take this one there yeah so there we go now it's applied so let's start to play with this now let's go to node properties it's the curvature we want to play with and see here what we can get balance so yeah uh, it's really cool to now actually have this to our disposal when we want to start to do some generic stuff like this. Uh, so that's one part of it. The smart masks is now out and released, but I'm really happy to see that he also added a lot of extra content. Uh, as I said, this is not going to be a full feature set. Just a uh, demonstration here of the smart masks a recap from my earlier and also here now actually here let's dock it there's a lot of nice uh, extra material that he has his extension pack grunge shelf here so for example if you want to need, need some uh, masks or uh, grunge that you want to apply a nice uh, set of extra uh, 
textures here. So yeah, that's uh, a quick recap here of uh, the new uh, Mario Extension Book 5 that I will start to use some of the nodes when I build the upcoming uh, Meshman Studio material library for Renderman. And uh, so yeah, uh, be on the lookout for that. And actually in the next episode, I'm gonna start to look at the Renderman shader briefly, just to look at the specular no uh, mode that's available because we need to understand a bit about how the specular model works in the Renderman shader and uh, the physical spec in particular. So yeah, stay on the lookout for that and uh, see you on the channel.